It's been a wild day in the markets. The NASDAQ up, down, all around. I'm gonna show you guys kind of an end of day setup of the trade that I took here. We had a channel forming. I was looking for a breakout of the channel. Ended up getting stopped out actually. And then I was like, wait, I think that's a fake out. Ended up getting back in. I'm gonna show you guys a trade right here in this video. If you haven't already hit that like button, subscribe button, you know what to do. Tune in, 9.15 a.m. Let's get right into the action, my friends. All right, so right now we got the VWAP. It's 3.30 in the afternoon here on Wednesday. We got the VWAP right there at the 108s. So I'm looking to possibly get long if we break above this 108 level with my stop basically below this 100s. You can see kind of the trend right now. We push back up into this level and we're right now right there below the VWAP. Some really kind of sharp action up and down here. So I would say if we can get above that level there, we could get a nice little squeeze like back up to the 140s here end of day so right now we're just waiting to get back above the VWAP here on the one minute chart watching this move right here possibly coming possibly getting it we're just gonna see how this plays out here all right so we're still waiting to basically break out of this range here get above the VWAP just kind of chopping here we put in these lows I think there's a good chance that we kind of squeeze up here I'm watching the price action right now for this possible move up here. Let's see, just kind of waiting. If we get above 106, I'll look to get long, I think. Kind of above, yeah, this candle right here. So if we get above this candle right here, we should be able to get a push up here end of day to the 20s. Just being patient, again, just basically going sideways inside of this channel right now. So if we can push above the 10s, I'll look to add there as well. So we push above the 10s here. I'll look to add above 10 for a possible move up there to the 20s or higher. A little early to that fill, but the momentum just came in there for a second. We should start to push through here. I'm going to watch them. We're right there at the VWAP now. You can see on the book map that volume coming in there, the volume to the downside, volume coming up, kind of pushing against that VWAP. So now we're squeezing up here. We just need to get going away from the VWAP, and then we should be able to push up there towards the 20s here end of day. So. We got the breakout we were looking for. We were patient. We waited for that breakout there of that channel. I showed you guys here on the one minute chart. We're pushing right now. Look at this beautiful move. Here we go to the 15s now. We're pushing, pushing 15s. Let's go all the way up there to the 20s, being my target here. 20 target here end of day. We should be able to get a push up there towards the 20s or higher. There's like 25, 26 is up there. So let's see if we can get it right here, right now on these last 20 minutes right below my entry so we're only risking three points here for a nice move up to the 20s i like it it's looking good book map showing us that liquidity up there at 27s i'll take that liquidity at 27s and that kind of puts us up here to this area from earlier if we can really start to show momentum we might get a nice little squeeze here end of day so just need to get through this kind of downward trend right here we're gonna be tapping it here right now tap tap tapping it we got about 18 minutes left 18 minutes left here. But you guys saw the big focus here, just waiting for this trend or rating. But you guys saw the big focus here, waiting for this channel, for the breakout. We saw that we were kind of bouncing around inside this channel. We had the VWAP right there acting as resistance. So all we really had to do is just wait for that momentum to come in there and give us some confirmation that we were gonna push up. We kind of got that triple bottom there off that channel bottom. And now looking for this to end of day, get up here above the 20s. Should be good for a push to the 20s now. The channel is key, right? We identify the channel. Now we look to lock in this profit as we push up through the 20s here, end of day. Momentum come in here. Shorts get squeezed. We get a nice little push up. Nice little push here. Come on. We want to see these candles speed up. We want more volume coming in here. Pulling back to the view op again. We hit that trend line. Might get stopped out now. That trend line is holding us down. So we're getting stopped out there. And just pulled it right down. So you can see basically hit that trend line there. I was hoping we were, the problem is hoping. 
Basically hoping for that squeeze through that trend line there and just got denied pretty much right there at that trend line. So, and it is what it is. Showing you guys, sometimes, you know, you got to risk it to get the biscuit. I think the trade was valid. It was a good idea. Now we're pulling back. We got stopped out basically with our injury there at that kind of 105, 106 area. Really only getting stopped out for three handles there. And uh, there's that pullback right below the VWAP again. So, you know, not every trade works out. It's just kind of how it goes. Should I have taken profit right there? Probably. You know, that trend line was pretty strong through here most of the day, uh, that last hour or so. You can see just a lot of like choppy up and down action here. So we'll see what happens here again. Maybe it wants to come back up. I might take one more long right here, to be honest. Let's do it one more time. I think we're going to still want that end of day squeeze here. We're going to try one more time. Kind of the same exact setup, to be honest. Stop below or right there at the hundreds. That little bounce back there kind of giving me uh, a little FOMO that we're going to squeeze here. I want to see this thing start ripping right here, end of day. Trying to push it through here. We got that trend line right again at that 12 level. We're right above the VWAP here. Can we break out? Trouble again there, getting denied. Both the ES and well, the ES getting stuck there at the VWAP. So I think that's what's holding down the NASDAQ right now. We can just get through the ES VWAP here. I think there's a good chance to get that push up there towards that 15 area on the ES, and then the NASDAQ gets pushing through here. Looking pretty good. We get this breakout. You can see the triangle right here on the one minute chart getting tighter and tighter with the Lux Algo indicator on there. Getting tight, baby. Let's go. Come on. Let's just get through this 15 level. Fuck. Again, on the ES, tapping the VWAP. Got stuck there twice. Kind of a dangerous spot here. We're either going to rip to the upside or start dumping here in the last 10 minutes. Put a sell signal, or put a sell order right there at the 24s. Put my stops down here. At break even now. Should be able to get through this 20 level. Pop up there quickly and take out me at the 23s. Should pop it. Should pop it. Getting filled there. 23. Can we go a little higher? A little bit more. 30 push here. I got my last and final down there. Got five, uh, four contracts left here. Put my stop right there at the 20s now, so we guarantee at least a thousand dollars. But see if we can't get a little bit more out of this. There we go, beautiful. Get through the 30s, maybe go up there 34, 35s. We get through this level here. Got denied right there at the 30s. Damn it! Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more, baby. All right, all right, trying to push, trying to push, trying to push it. I'm going to move my stop right there below this candle. We might get stopped there. We're stopped out, and we're done. So pulling up my P&L there, locking in 12000 We gave back some profit. We're up. We're down. We're all around. There's the push up there to the 28s now. Look at this breakout. Oh, my. Come on. It stopped me out just to squeeze up there to the 28s. Beautiful. It is what it is. So, again, kind of just a choppy, crazy day. Like, a lot of just really big, crazy chop. Like look at the 15 minute chart, just very kind of all over the place today. Very choppy, very wild action. And uh, hopefully it gets better tomorrow. But we overall just kind of, yeah, up, down, all around today. So there it is. Giving you guys a little breakdown there on that one minute chart, how I was looking to get above the VWAP, get this end of day push up there, get that breakout. You saw that we got stopped out and then we got back in. Do I always suggest that you should do that? No, but... You know, sometimes it works out in your favor. So there it is, locking in the profit and the market. It's all over the place here. All over the place. Absolutely wild, baby. Just wild.